All right, today we are at the Springfield Armory National Historic Site in Springfield, Massachusetts. Talks about the uh, manufacturing of firearms. He said President Washington, I think, in 1794 said, uh, designated this the Armory. And they produced firearms for the War of 1812 all the way through until 1968. There's quite a bit of exhibits here. This talks about ballistic uh, science. Tests and experiments, wow. Forty-five caliber pistol. Hmm. History, a lot of displays. They have all the manufacturing equipment here. We'll walk up and look at that. But uh, making the site. That's a view of the outside, which I'll get to later. Precision. These are some of the manufacturing equipment they would have used. Signal bell. This is all original. Um, the guns, at least. None of it is uh, reproductions. Engine lathe. Let's look at this. Interchangeable parts. Lots of guns. That's a uh, USM 1795 musket. Oh, here's the uh, wood stock for a gun. This is, I guess, a lathe that they would use to turn it. You can see it taking shape. Though that's probably just uh, uh, a prop to show, because obviously the barrel would not have been wood. But I don't know. I don't know that much about firearms in general, let alone historic ones. Craftsman tools, carpenter's tool chest. What else we got? Fire gear. This talks about Thomas Blanchard. If you're interested, you can pause the video. Hmm. Yeah, the Blanchard lathe. That's what that says. Let's see if I can. There we go, in case anyone's interested. Post-mounted drill press. Blanchard a regular turning lathe. Lacing device. Let's walk back over real quick. Take a look at some of this. These things here, U.S. carbine on the top is a U.S. carbine model 1873, 45, 55, Sharps rifle, model 1874, 44, 77, and American Plains rifle, percussion 45. So that's what those are. Over here, there's the Confederate rifle, uh, 58 caliber, 1863. That's what the Confederates would have used in the Civil War there. Um, from the Appomattox Courthouse National Historic Park. Then they have in the middle the British Flintlock Musket, second model Brown Bess, uh, 75 caliber, which is huge. I don't know what you shoot from a 75 caliber. And then uh, Winchester Shotgun. That's pretty nice there, 1912. This is a 50 cal uh, M2 US machine gun Browning. pistol and uh, US rifle 1940 and US rifle 1959 uh, the tops an M1 bottoms an M14 and finally over here 
Smith & Wesson revolver on the top from around 1985. Uh, on the Underneath it there is Thompson submachine gun model 1921 45 caliber. Underneath that is the Mac 10 suppressed 9mm, pretty cool. And underneath that, the Mossberg shotgun 600 12 gauge from about 1990. Uh, this little guy here is 1930s, or excuse me, 1985. That one, 1930. So, pretty cool. So here we have the products of Springfield, starting with a, uh, let's see, 1795, 69 caliber on the top there with bayonet, then the U.S. Percussion Musket, 1842, 69 caliber. Underneath that is the U.S. Percussion Rifle Musket, 1855, 58 caliber, right there, the middle one, third one down. Uh, fourth one down is the U.S. Percussion Rifle Musket 1861, 58 caliber. That would have been Civil War era, probably. Uh, U.S. Springfield Rifle M1873, 45 caliber. And finally, the U.S. Craig Jordison Magazine Rifle uh, 1892, which is a 30 caliber. There. Uh, over here, it just talks about rifles and large knives uh, rifles M1905 M1 from what does it say M14, M6 1795 Type 2 1803 here's some information about it you can read that and then also discusses Harper's Ferry, which I'm told wasn't around very long during the Civil War. And so, um, that's, that's one of those like restructuring and power plays in the military. Um, okay, we're going to look at machine guns. Number one is from 1862. Seven. Get my little dock. Seven, eight. From 1904. Nine is from 1917. Ten is a German. And eleven. M39 A2. Wow, I think. Very large. We are in the uh, weapons area now, and we're just going to skim through it, because there's a lot to look at. Wow, that is an M1860 Army with shoulder stock. swords starting from 1500 on the left all the way out to 1860 uh, there, uh, which was used um, by the Navy. Swords. Um, here they have uh, evolution of long guns. Look at the detail on that wheel lock. I don't know if this will come out on the camera. 
but yeah. Wow. Alright, moving along. The rifle musket. Springfield through the Civil War. If you want to read that, I'm sure you can pause the video. Talks about bayonets here. Discuss specialty weapons Springfield made. Uh, edge weaponry of the Springfield Armory. Some blades down there. This is Organ of Muskets. Is that what it says? Yeah. Not only does it go all the way around, it's also two or three guns deep. Well, it goes all the way back. Four guns deep on this side. That's crazy. Uh, there's a poem here. Doesn't really say much about it. We've got some long rifles. Great stuff. Spin around here. Plains rifles. That's the wrong way. Let's go around the other way. Zip around to the right. Okay. Contract carbines. Contract rifle muskets. Confederate weapons there. Oops. Carbines here. Erskine S. Allen. This guy developed the trapdoor or something or other. You can read that. Okay. I was talking about uh, some musket balls. 58s. 52 to 93. Wow. Spin around here. Single shot breech loaders. Pretty cool. A lot of good stuff. Breech loader missile thingy. The repeating rifles. Carbines and special crags. Glass rifle model 1903 taken apart. Springfield 03. More production Springfield. More rifles. I don't know if we looked at this side. They all kind of look the same to me. Okay. We have Sherman weapons. Opens up the First World War. And Allied weapons. This is open around here. Weapons of the Second World War. German weapons. Oops. You know what? Pretty cool. Alright, here's more Italian weapons. That's pretty here. Weapons. Here. And pistols. Pistols. Japanese weapons. He's white. Army pistol. The guard. The bronze. The bronze. The bronze. The bronze. The bronze. The bronze. The you have one M. A launcher or two small that don't a grenade or a launched grenade for the made sprint final product here. Field to 50 cal. Let's see what we got here. 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 Let's see what we
Help. It's a grenade. Sure. Launch. Wow, what's these guys? Who are these? Okay, here for seven. The M sixteen A recent. Interesting. And I have this about everything. Alright, my favorite uh, exhibit is the mishaps. Now here it discusses a soldier whose musket was struck by a lightning bolt. And this is what happened to it. Watch this musket. Let's see the wood broken. And then boom. Look at that. Bayonets in a U-turn, the rifles corkscrewed for the barrel. Down here, this one says it has been struck by a large projectile. Yeah, I would say so. This one says it is damaged from a porcupine. That nod on it, which is pretty funny. Some gnaw marks in there. And then the rest of these are uh, bullet damage. You can still see the mini balls stuck in the barrels. Pretty cool. And of course, personalized weapons. People that have drawn on them or decorated them. Which is awesome personalized stuff from the Civil War is pretty cool. There's more here. All right, outside the Springfield Armory now. It's exactly what you would expect. Ooh, clock tower. And next to the um, community technical college, something or other. Some old buildings and fields and stuff. Downtown Springfield.